happy Friday. Happy Mummy Pro weekend. It is 9.30. So we got kind of a busy weekend. I already showered, um, did my hair, got dressed. I'm not doing my makeup because I do have plans later this afternoon or evening. Um, so I'm just going to do a fresh face look for the daytime or fresh face, rather naked face. Um, I'm actually on the way out to, um, have breakfast with two of my subscribers turned girlfriends, Joe and Amy. And so uh, they're actually driving three hours to come have a meal with me. Um, they've been fantastic, amazing, super supportive, loyal, 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 kind subscribers for years. Um, and I actually was lucky enough to meet them last year, um, actually this year in March at the Rustic when I hosted my luncheon. Um, and we just connected, we became friends, and you guys know you can never have too many good people in your corner. So they asked if they could uh, go have a meal with me, and I was like, um, duh. <laughs> so we're going to go to Hash House of Go Go. Um, and then I do have a parent teacher conference later today, and then I have afternoon plans, and then tomorrow's going to be a girl's day. We're going to carve pumpkins, maybe use a costume. I don't know, and by costume, I just mean like rabbit ears or maybe kitty ears or maybe mini ears, just something cute. Um, but I'm not actually doing anything for Halloween. Like, you know, it's Halloween weekend, and there's like a Everyone goes out and parties and does stuff like that. Um, I don't have any plans like that. I do have a lot of work to do this weekend, um, but I say that every weekend. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how much I can actually accomplish. But before I head out the door, I want to show you guys my outfit of the day. That's extremely confusing because you're like, Danny, I thought you said it was cold outside. Why are your shoulders naked? You guys, I have an addiction to cold shoulder clothes. I, I... That's the first step, right? Just admitting it. I have an addiction to cold shoulder clothes. I can't stay away from it. So now all of my sweaters for this year have cold shoulders. So I'm just gonna have cold shoulders this year. <laughs> all right, so my outfit of the day, over the knee boots, they're flat. These are old, they're from Tory Burch. I think I got them two years ago. My distressed jeans, these are Hudson. Um, they're kind of too distressed, I feel like, for winter. You know, I'm gonna have like, Frostbite on my shoulders and then frostbite on my, I don't know, above my knee, right? Don't you agree? Isn't that ridiculous? Isn't that super ridiculous? Sophia! I know! Sophia! Isn't it ridiculous? Isn't it super ridiculous? Look at this one. What is this? Party time? Is this party time? Party Central. So my sweater is from American Eagle. I just got it about a few weeks ago. I got it when I got that black dress that I wore to the John Party concert. Um, and then my vest is really, really old. My mom bought me this vest years ago. I'm talking like pre-marriage years ago. So it's at least 10 years old, but it's one of my favorite pieces. I will wear it nonstop every winter. And I remember in San Diego, it was like, it's never that cold to justify a piece like this. Now that I'm in Dallas, I'm like, well, it is 60. <laughs> Anyway, so that's my outfit of the day. I am heading out the door, but you guys are coming right along. I think I'm leaving early enough where I could stop on my P.O. box first. I haven't been there in like three weeks. So, um, yeah, that's kind of exciting. So we came to Hash House of Go-Go and I thought I was being decent by getting a scramble but this is the size of my scramble. Look at this. Joe got a tree. <laughs> you got a tree. If you need a knife to hold your food together then we have a problem. I'm kind of jealous. Look at this waffle. There's bacon in your waffle right or no? Yes there's bacon in the waffle. You guys want to say hi? Yeah. Wanna say hi? Look at my friend Amy! <laughs> and her best friend too! I feel okay. How's everything look? Let's take a minute to talk about how they're here with their best friend and I'm here without my best friend. Where is Sam right now? There's an empty chair. That's all I gotta say about that. We miss Sam. Because the last time we hung out, it was like bestie bestie. Okay, I'm not that sad because I have a lot of food to eat right now. Hey, hey, you guys! It is one o'clock. Um, so my friends and I just uh, had breakfast together, and when we were sitting there, I was like, "You guys, um, so across the street there's an Ulta, and I have a 20% coupon that expires." 
today. <laughs> they were like, does, does that mean we're gonna go to Ulta? And I was like, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it means. Um, I had this feeling in like the back of my mind, like I needed to buy something from Ulta. Like I actually needed something. But as I was there, I realized I didn't need anything, but I sure bought a lot of stuff. I mean, enough where I could film a haul video, but I feel like I've filmed too many hauls recently, you know? So I don't know if I want, let me in through the mofo. I don't know if I want to film it because I've already done too many hauls. I feel like I'm lagging on product reviews. Like I'm such a geek. Like I used to do like really nerdy product reviews like every week. I've been lagging on those. I feel like what's happening is I'm struggling with finding a balance between my job and my social life. Because all of my filming, footage, B-roll, product shots are done on the weekends. That's also when I have a social life. So it's, it's a really hard balance for me right now. Um, but I'm, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, so I bought the prism palette from Anastasia. I bought the tartlet heat palette, the tartlet on fire palette in fuego. What is it called? <laughs> you know, the tart one that they launched to compete kind of like with the urban decay heat palette, which I don't think they're very similar when I when I saw the tartlet one in person I'm like hmm they don't look very similar anyway so I don't know if I should let me know let me know in the comments if you want me to film a separate haul video for that and they'll do it but otherwise I'm like ah, too many haul videos anyway so it's one o'clock um I didn't think I was gonna be out this long I've been out since 10 I uh, got some results some uh, lab results uh, while I was in the middle of breakfast, which was, it could have potentially been kind of sour news, but I uh, was talking to my friends about it and I was like, well, they said X, Y, and Z. <laughs> and Jill was like, well, doesn't that just basically mean boom, 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 boom? They shouldn't have told you that over the phone. That's stupid, you know? <laughs> she reminds me exactly of Sam. It was so funny. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's what it means. So it didn't ruin my day or my weekend or my meal. <laughs> Nothing ruins my food. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's one o'clock. I have a parent-teacher conference at three. Um, and then I have plans this afternoon. So I need to go home and hang out with my dogs for a little bit because I know I'm going to be gone all afternoon. Um, but then I also need to put my face on. So I don't know if I should do that after the parent-teacher conference or before the parent-teacher conference. I don't know. I'm going to have like literally no time to film today. Am I? I guess what I could do is drive home, do my makeup, go to the parent-teacher conference, come home and film my favorites video, which is like my favorite video to film. And then go out and then I have one video taken care of, right? No? Is that a good idea? Maybe. All right. Well, that's what we got going on. Catch you later, alligator. Oh my God. You guys should turn that into a Giphy. <laughs> hey, you guys. Seven o'clock. Uh, I'm ready to go. I'm not going to bring you along. I'm actually going to dinner. I did want to show you guys my outfit of the night. Um, I love I'm like, this is my newest obsession. This is from Banana Republic. It's just like a wool coat in like a military or olive camo type green. My outfit is actually pretty basic. It's nothing special. I'm just wearing like black riding boots. These were actually my very first DSW purchase years ago. And then I'm wearing these jeans. I don't even know what brand these are. I know they're not Hudson's though. And then my little coat from Banana Republic. Isn't that cute? Let me try and get some better lighting because I feel like you can't see my makeup very well. I'm wearing the um, Mario palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mario palette. And then I'm wearing a lip combo from using some collab products. My skin has been such a brat lately. You can actually see my coat a little bit better in here. It is freezing, you guys, in Dallas. Like, I almost want to wear gloves. Is that a little ridiculous? I think it is. But you know what's more ridiculous? How cranky I get when I'm cold. <laughs> Who's on a pretty girl? Who's on a pretty girl? Oh, you know, just going down the stairs, risking my life, because Mern won't move. What's on a pretty girl? Who's on a pretty girl? What's on a pretty girl? Who's a big nose? Whoa, whoa, are you trying to murder your mother? 
This is a poss this is this is a possible homicide right here. Hey. 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 <laughs> hey. Who's in a pretty girl? Who's in a pretty girl? <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. It's seven o'clock. Uh, rough night. Can we talk about these stark under eye circles? Um, I went to Pluckers for wings yesterday and I was home by 10 and that's the end of my story. <laughs> um, so I wanted to, um, update you guys a little bit briefly. So just a couple random facts. A lot of you guys gave me amazing, amazing recommendations for holy lighting. A lot of you guys gave me amazing recommendations for, oh, got to take that call. It is now 8.30. That was a long, nice conversation on the phone. Um, what I was telling you is like a little brief update. So um, I don't remember what the first update was. The second update, however, <laughs> is a lot of you guys recommended uh, Demonos with cranberry and dandelion extract as a supplement for like urinary tract health um, or just a cranberry concentrate. This one is like, what is it? 25,000 milligrams of like cranberry, herbal cranberry extract. Um, you guys, we're like stacking the deck over here. I'm about to get cranberry poisoning. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not taking them both. I'm not taking them at all yet, actually. I'm actually looking into them, but I wanted to have them. Um, you guys know I'm kind of a, a geek. I like look into things. I research and I read and do stuff like that. So I wanted to have them on hand, see which one's better, stuff like that. Um, the other thing is I got some of my lab results back. A lot of you guys keep asking like, oh my God, how are you doing? How are you doing? And it's hard for me because it's like, you see me and I'm in a good mood and you're like, but a vlog ago you were like, really, really sad. I, like I told you guys, I honor my feelings. I sulk for a little while and then I move on. I let it go, you know? Um, so I got some results. They're not very good. You know, I've always been anemic uh, since I, since I can remember, since I was little, I've always been anemic. And then with my cycles, like my lady cycles, now I'm like extra anemic. So that's always been a thing, but I guess partial results that aren't bad results is good news. Anyway, at least that's how I'm gonna take it. So today, um, I'm just gonna get some work done today. I, I already lost an hour. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get up early, I'm gonna film, do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna crank out like four videos, like I used to. You guys, I used to start working at 11 p.m. and I would film four to five videos and I would have a video Monday through Thursday, sometimes even Fridays. And that was while I was married with the kids at home every single day. Now, I'm like, I feel like I am just constantly tired. Like everything feels like a chore. I look forward to doing things, but it takes so much energy. Is this what it feels like when you get old? Or am I sick? <laughs> or is it a combination of both? So um, I wanted to show you guys something and you're probably gonna laugh and be like, Danny, you're a dork. I love kitchen gadgets and you guys see my tea kettle. Like a lot of you have bought my tea kettle, let's be honest. I see you guys clicking on that link. Isn't it amazing? So I just added a new tool to my kitchen. It makes me feel like I'm going to buy a $6 latte at like a local coffee shop. Let's be real. So before I show you my super magical tool, today I'm meeting uh, Hilda and Vero, two of my friends. Um, at three o'clock, we're going to this pub that's doing like a pumpkin carving for charity thing, which I'm super looking forward to, but it's so cold outside. Um, and then after, I think Hilda's leaving. She has to go to an event, but then Vero and I are gonna have dinner. Um, but that's it. I actually haven't been to the gym since I went back home to San Diego. I haven't been feeling well, and I feel like if I would go, I'd just make a jackass of myself. So I need to head back. I need to make time for it. I'll probably start going back next week. Um, yeah, okay, so let me show you guys. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? is a milk frother and it gives you delicious frothy milk every time. And you don't even need like a fancy little cup for it. I just froth directly in my mug and then brew the coffee over the top 
and it doesn't deflate the foam. It's pretty awesome. And it was $10 on Amazon. You're welcome. I know I'm not doing it right. I know you're supposed to froth in another cup and then scoop it, scoop up the froth and ladle it right on top of your coffee. Whatever, you guys. I'm a busy woman. I have things to do. If I can froth in my cup and then brew over the top and it doesn't deflate the foam, I'm good with that. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. This vlog is going to be like three hours long because I'm frothing milk for you. The best part is that it froths all milks, regular milk, almond milk, soy milk, monkey milk, I don't know, but just um, you can tell when I'm not feeling well because my jokes are less funny than they are, always are, or not funny at all. They're not that funny in the first place, so they're just not funny, whatever. <laughs> all right, so all you do is put in however much of this like milk product or fake milk, real milk, whatever it is, however much you normally use. And I don't actually use much at all. And you wanna put your frother inside the milk, but not touching the bottom or hitting the sides. You literally pulse for like 10 seconds and you have full on froth. It's amazing. You guys, I'm super excited about this. It's kind of sad. It's kind of hard because the focus is on my super bright nail polish. But if you guys can hear the difference in the way the milk sounded, now it just sounds frothy. Look at that Skeletor hand. Man, that looks like a claw. Um, so you remember, you could actually see the bottom of the mug. You can't even see it anymore. Cause of all the delicious froth. Then I just put in my coffee maker, brew a cup, and it literally just floats to the top. It's like magic. Check out that delicious froth. Mm, mm, mm. Even her nest is excited about it. She's coming over here like, can I get some of that action? You guys, 11.30. Okay, so um, I just had this really great idea, which is why I left my house with this hair. Like it's completely hair sprayed up. I need to be cute for later, but before later, I actually have a lot of videos to film and I'm so behind schedule because of my great idea. So I was talking to my two friends, Vero and Hilda, and we're gonna go carve some pumpkins later. But the three of us are going to wear sweater dresses, over the knee boots, some tights, cause it's really cold. But I was like, what if I wear those over the knee socks? that stick out above your over the knee boots. You know, like they're cute, they have like buttons or a ruffle or like a little pattern. I thought, wouldn't that be adorable? So now I'm on a mission trying to find them where I should be actually working. I'm literally gonna have just the right amount of time to go to Walmart, see if they have them. Yes, I'm actually going to Walmart. That's how bad I want these socks, you guys. Hopefully they have them. If not, then I'm gonna swing by Target. If they don't have them, then I'm quitting on this mission. Um, <laughs> but I called my mom and she's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I have this great idea. And so I told her and she's like, you do realize that none of these socks are gonna be over the knee on you, right? And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, you're my daughter. You're a giant. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? She's like, you're all legs. And I was like, oh, you're onto something, I think. She was like, how many over the knee boots actually fit you over the knee? I was like, most of them, barely. And she was like, yeah, now think about the socks. And she was like, listen, I'm not trying to break your heart. I'm just trying to get you mentally prepared for being disappointed. <laughs> My mom is so real, you guys. So I just got to Walmart. We're gonna try and find some cute ruffly socks. And if we do find them, hopefully they fit. Look at my hair, you guys. I actually went out with like this crispy, curled, like, uh, Goldilocks hair. Um, yeah. You know what I've been thinking, you guys? I think I'm ready for like some major hair changes. I did this hair change how long ago? Was it summer? I don't even remember, honestly, anymore. Oh, look at you, fancy with your e-cigarette. Um, wow, I'm sassy and judgy today. Gross. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I don't remember when I did this, but I feel like it's already been at least a season. And I, I just, I need, to, I need to do something drastic and different. Something that's just gonna be like, yeah, I can do better. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm parking super far and I'm just gonna walk. Cause I haven't been to the gym anyway. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, we're going to Walmart on a mission. Hopefully we can find these socks, you guys. Send me your sock prayers uh, and see what happens. So, leaving Target. Walmart was a major bust. There was like literally nothing there. But Target, Target always has my back. I don't even know why I betray Target's love. I don't know why I just don't go straight to Target. Why am I out of breath? My lips are so chapped, you guys, it's freezing. It's, um, okay, it's 50 degrees, whatever. <laughs> so, mission sort of accomplished. Like, in my mind, I had, like, these cute, over-the-knee, scrunchy type, like, you could scrunch them down, maybe a ruffle or, like, a little bow, maybe some buttons. That's what I imagined in my, in my head. Target had over-the-knee, but very basic. So I'm not gonna have enough time to customize these. But if I'm still set on having cute socks like that, I still can. You know, I have like my little sewing machine. I have, I'm familiar. I can defend myself with like a sewing machine and needles and stuff like that. So I have a couple of options. Uh, these are just some really, really soft. Actually, these are knee high. I don't need to show you these. That was an impulse purchase. <laughs> so these are the first ones. How cute these polka dots are. I wear like little spots, like colorful spots on there. Um, and then it has the gray trim. Then there are these solid gray ones with like a cute like cable knit type pattern. And then these are also a really good option. So they have the same ribbing as like most of my sweater dresses. They have like the light beige and then the, the, the trim has like beige with gold, uh, like a gold um, thread gold thread in it or something whatever anyway so yeah look how cute these are too these kind of have that like ruffle that I was talking about but these are just knee highs and so I was thinking I was like well if my over the knee boots don't work out I could wear some booties or even my cowboy boots and then do the the knee high ones options you guys you guys I'm so hungry it's 12 o'clock I probably have to leave actually let me check now that now that we're hanging out, let me check. I think the place is called Old Monk. Uh, it's like a pub. How long is it going to take me to get there? Ooh, it's 25 miles away. Let's see. Come on, phone. So my Google Maps app did an update, and now it takes forever to like find my location and stuff. Okay, so it's going to take me about 35 minutes to get there. So I think I'll leave my house at 2.30. Right now it's 12.00. It takes me about an hour to film and get ready with me. Yeah, the Old Monk, British style pub with a big beer list. I'll <laughs> speak of my language, maybe I should Uber it. Um, it's close to Victor Tango's and Velvet Taco and stuff. So yeah, that's the plan. So right now we're gonna go home, film a video with my super sexy Goldilocks hair and then get ready to go, pumpkin carving and then dinner with my friend Veto. I kinda wanna do something later today. I woke up in such a mood, you guys, and it might be hard to detect because I'm always so amped. But yeah, I woke up in a pretty mood. Um, But now I'm just like super excited. I talked to my friend Hilda. She kinda gave me one of those like girly pep talks. And I was like, damn right. Get your life together, Danny. So, do you guys ever have like a relatively good idea in your mind, but then when you execute it, you realize it was kind of not a very good one? <laughs> I was going for like elegant, classy, with the splash of bougie, cat, kitty cat costume. But instead, <laughs> I ended up looking like a stray Alley cat <laughs> You guys send for help. <laughs> what is what is happening here? Like what what is what's going on here? What what are we doing? What am I doing with my life? I feel like uh I feel like maybe I'm gonna need Jesus after this weekend. <laughs> Not only does this lipstick get all over my teeth, uh I don't have enough time to change. So this is what we're going with and we're gonna make it work. So, if I quit YouTube, it's because um, I found myself a sugar daddy tonight. <laughs> For the record, that would never appeal to me. <laughs> In case there were any doubts. Um, yeah, wow, all right. Um, you know, the good thing is that I won't be cold because I'm wearing about 400 pounds of synthetic fur. Um, so there's that. <laughs> It's three o'clock. Uh, 
Veto canceled, so it's just gonna be me and Hilda, and we're gonna look like very expensive felines. Okay, you guys, it is four o'clock. We just got to, what is it? The Fortis Oh, my. So. Oh, my. The oh, my. <laughs> and so, they have this thing going on where you pay $13, you get a pumpkin and a bag with knives and stuff. I guess it's a whole carving kit. Oh, it's like a carving kit. Do you get to keep it? Yeah, I think you are. <laughs> Hilda. We were sitting at the old monk and we had already carved our pumpkins and like everyone that kept showing up looked exactly like an Abercrombie ad and I was like we're a little overdressed for this. Is there any uh, place more bouche tastic we can go? She was like yeah let's go to happiest hour. They have like a Halloween thing or whatever. I'm like all right sounds good to me. So we jumped in our little cars, and now we're going to, uh, now we're going to Happiest Hour. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. Ha <laughs> 
happy Sunday. It's 4.30. Um, I haven't been doing much all day. Um, cleaning the kitchen, changing sheets, sleeping, cleaning my studio, although I don't think I did a very good job. <laughs> feeling very half accomplished today. Um, it's already 4.30 and I have three videos that I need to film today. Like, it's not an option. Like, I actually have to do it. And I don't know what I did yesterday between the morning and three o'clock when I left my house that I didn't film. I don't know, I don't know what, I don't know anything. It was such a waste of morning going to find those socks, but that literally set me back like 40 minutes. It wasn't even that long. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm kind of struggling. <laughs> I'm kind of struggling to find my little routine like I told you guys earlier in this vlog. Anyway, so right now it's 4.30 um, and in lieu of making something to eat and having to destroy my kitchen again, I just decided to swing by the Panera drive through I'm gonna get something to eat, um, and then I'm just gonna go home and film my three videos. Luckily, I'm prepared. I know what the videos are. I know what I need to do. I know what I'm gonna wear. So whenever I have a plan, I can be very efficient. The problem is that I'm just too old to go out anymore. I feel... <laughs> I feel like um, being friends with someone like Hilda is very fun and it's super dynamic because, you know, she can come over to my house and sit on the couch for four hours and just talk, or we can go out and party. But at the end of the day, I'm not really a big partier anymore. You know, I just want to meet someone where we can go out and party maybe like twice a year, like New Year's and maybe, I don't know, someone's random birthday or a wedding or something, you know? And then just relax and do nice dinners and cook together and go bowling. Do like those like classic old fashioned traditional type dates where you're like in bed by 11.30 or midnight. <laughs> or like sit on the fireplace. Or like, hey, you don't have your kids and I don't have mine. Do you want to do like a Netflix marathon and just eat Cheetos? <laughs> I'm gonna be alone forever, you guys. <laughs> I'm like a 75 year old woman. I just need to learn how to cross stitch now. <laughs> actually, I do scrapbooking, so does that help? <laughs> no, actually, that doesn't help my case at all. Uh, yeah, anyway, so 4.30, Panera. I have my trunk full of P.O. Box stuff, full. It's getting to the point where I'm not gonna be able to include that in my vlogs anymore without them taking up like a whole hour. I'm gonna have to start doing like unboxings, like separate unboxings. I'm pretty sure some people aren't even interested in it anyway, so it might be a really easy way to skip it. Uh, yeah, all right guys, so I'm pulling up to Panera right now. I'm gonna go ahead and handle my eating business and then go home. Maybe I'll show you guys a little behind the scenes of me filming my videos. Uh, and that's it, I think, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. I'm going to church at seven, so I somehow have to figure out my schedule to make that happen, but I mean, no excuses, right? That's right. o'clock I just finished filming two videos I still have one more to do and then I have to edit a video for tomorrow craziness right can we talk about this lip color this is from Bobbi Brown I will list it in the description box below and how cute is the sweater this is from Express I just got it I'm actually doing a haul video with Express items only um, coming up 
in the next few weeks. I'm really excited to share that with you because there's a lot of holiday dress ideas. Um, and then the other thing is, I feel like I'm whispering because it's already like nine o'clock and like everyone's sleeping even though no one's here. So the other thing is, I was outside with my poodle and then all of a sudden I looked down and I saw this. This was left by my postman behind a pot in the front of my house. How was I supposed to know it was even there? So I'm totally gonna do the try on in this video. I wasn't sure when I was gonna be able to do it because remember I told you guys that I've been sick? Well, part of the thing of being sick and part of growing up and something else of my health, whatever, I have this genetic thing that makes me have eye issues. Anyway, so, I need an updated prescription. I feel like my glasses, they still work and they're still pretty good, but my eyes aren't like 2020 when I put them on. So I need to update my prescription and I was like, well, if I'm gonna update my prescription, I might as well have a cute pair picked out, ready to go. Okay, no, just whatever you guys. Anyway, we'll try these on in a minute, but for now I'm gonna keep filming and then uh, we'll try these on. I'm super excited. I'm gonna put up a poll so that we can um, pick out my frames together. I um, actually haven't had my updated prescription. Like I haven't had my appointment yet. So um, like we'll still have time to run this poll for a while before I actually pick my glasses. Cause I'll have to have my appointment first with an updated prescription. You see where I'm going with this? You understand. Hey, you guys. I just finished filming. I need to go edit a video, but before I get into editing and like start rubbing my eyes and getting super tired, I thought I would share with you guys my Warby Parker. Now, this is an at-home try-on. Like I told you guys, I haven't updated my eyeglass prescription in more than a year, and I feel like the glasses that I have now could be a little bit stronger. Um, <laughs> I feel like I sound like Chandler. Could they be a little bit stronger? <laughs> um, anyway, if you guys are unfamiliar with Warby Parker's at-home try-on service, it is a completely free service. Basically, you go on the website, you select five frames, they ship them to you for free, you have five days to try them on, and you are under no obligation to make a purchase. You can keep them for five days. If you feel like you found the love of your life with one of these frames, then you return all of them with the free pre paid shipping label and then you go and you place your order. Don't forget that all these frames are exclusive to Warby Parker and the retail locations and all the glasses start at $95 and include the anti-glare and scratch protection. It's kind of cool that you get frames sent to your home because you actually get to try them on before you commit so it's under no obligation like I told you guys. The problem though that every time that I order an at-home try-on I end up liking something. <laughs> so for every pair of Warby Parker glasses that are actually purchased, they do donate one for someone in need, which is great. You guys know I'm a sap, I fall for those. I fall for philanthropic causes all the time. So let me show you guys the ones that I picked out. And if you guys are curious, um, I order all my frames in the large size or like the wide because I have a big face, I'm a big girl, I'm almost six feet tall, so I want the bigger frames. And I just tend to gravitate towards like the square or rectangle shape. So the very first one that we're gonna try on is actually the Barnett. Now this one's pretty cool because you see it's like a dark gray, but then the inside has that really cool pattern. So it's like a mullet pair of glasses. You know, it's very professional when you put it on and then the inside is kind of fun. So what do we think? How does it look? Is it cute? Kind of like this one but I feel like it looks a lot like all the ones that I always get. I always gravitate towards rectangular dark frames. Like it? Is it cute? I feel like I always like them because they already look like something that I already have. So we'll do this on a maybe, and I'm gonna need you guys to vote. Remember, I do have a poll going on on my Insta story, and then I also want you guys to vote here, and then we'll kind of figure out which ones we're gonna pick out. I already tried these on. Secret confession time like I already tried these on and this is my absolute favorite pair. This is called Bowen What do you think? Isn't that awesome? It's thicker. It's like a thicker gray frame So I feel like it gives me that like yeah, I'm sort of like an attorney look like I'm very serious and professional I talk about lipstick on the internet, but on my free time, you know on my downtime. I'm a prosecutor <laughs> Isn't it cool? This is my favorite. This is definitely my favorite so far. 
The third one is the funnest one. This is the Eaton, but I'm talking about the color. Do you guys see the color? So it has like a really dark teal or turquoise around the top half and then like a light brown or tan on the bottom. Uh, kind of digging this one. This is really fun. It kind of reminds me of the Welty Bluebird, which was my very first Warby Parker frame. Uh, yeah, okay, that'll be second favorite for now. Then we have the Gilbert. Do all my glasses look the same? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Gilbert. It has um, the black on the top half, it's a really, really, really dark smoky gray. It looks black basically. And then like a see-through beige on the bottom half. I really like these because they give almost like that Wayfair effect without the bottom being metal. You know, it's still all acetate. So I like these, but I like those other two a little bit more. And then the fifth and last pair is really cute. This is the most different out of all of them. This one has like a 40s or 50s vibe because it has the cat eye, it kind of points up. So it gives me that whole like, where's my poodle skirt look? No? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I do like the color of it. I feel like the color is very neutral. Like it would go with any outfit, anything that I'm wearing. I wouldn't have to worry about taking them off or changing them or anything. And you guys know I see glasses as like an accessory. So I have different types of glasses all over my house, in the car, in my purse. And so they don't always go with what I'm wearing. And with a pair like this, they would match anything. Super cute, right? So if you guys were curious to try Warby Parker's awesome at-home try-on, I will leave a link here on the screen and in the description box below. It is warbyparker.com slash coffee break. Remember, it's an absolutely free service. There is no commitment. There's no obligation. There is nothing that you need to do that would make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> if you get five frames and you don't like them, they'll ship them to you for free. You send them back for free and you can order an additional five. And you can keep doing that until you find the ones that just pull on your heart strings and are the ones that you love. The cool thing about Warby Parker as well is that they automatically include the anti-glare and anti-scratch. Right now you don't have the anti-glare because these are fake lenses. They're just for the try-on so it's just generic plastic. But when you do get your pair it does have the anti-glare and the anti-scratch coatings. If you wanted to do the at-home try-on and you want to do something like I'm doing now where I'm asking you guys to vote and help me pick a pair, they also have an app on iTunes that allows you to take a clip of you and all the five pairs that you ordered and then you can send that to your friends and they can vote on which pair they like best on you. So if you guys love me at all, you're gonna vote for the Bowen, for the After Hours Prosecutor Danny. You know what I'm saying? I need to stop doing like these things. Like, <laughs> I'm like the corny friend that people don't wanna to invite to parties. <laughs> Like I said, all the information on the Warby Parker's at home trial will be listed in the description box below. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go upstairs and edit a video. I think I might eat a salad. It's nine o'clock, I really don't like to eat. I need to just drink a lot of water. Hey you guys, it is 10 o'clock. It's the end of this weekend. I am beat. I still have to finish editing this video, but other than that, uh, it was a great weekend. You know, I had so much fun. Got to see my friend Hilda. Got some work done. I actually got to rest quite a bit today, which was nice. And I will not confirm or deny that I may be eating a salad right now at 10 p.m. But do you guys want to see something cute? Look at this baby panda. <laughs> oh my God, YouTube is so great. I've made so many great friends and I've also made really great friends with subscribers, little kids. They are just absolute amazing, sweet, sweet, sweet children. And they write me letters and they get me presents. This is from my sweet baby panda over in Colleen. <laughs> Hi, baby panda. Anyway, um, that wraps up this weekend. Anything that I talked about, mentioned, included, war, will be listed and linked in the description box below, along with a playlist of my other vlogs. Um, and I think that's it. I don't know what else to tell you guys, except I love you and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.